This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top plane. In the top plane, I will draw this rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 142 by 21 plus 50 plus 21. Okay. Then I will start proceed to 14 unit. After that, we can see we have four extra cut hole, and this four extra cut hole has a dimension of 18 diameter, and they are apart from 21 unit from each other at the corner, and and this distance of two unit uh, has a distance of 15 50 unit. Then I will use a center line, then I will mirror other two extra cut circle. Okay. Then after that, so let me first draw this portion. Okay. So I'm selecting the top plane here. Now right click on it. Now sketch. Now select the center rectangle and place the center rectangle here. Now dimension it to 142 by 21 plus 50 plus 21 unit. Okay. Now press OK. Now select a circle and draw a circle here. And this circle has a dim dimension of 80 diameter. 18. Now draw another circle and this circle has a dimension of 18 diameter. Now select the smart dimension option and from this circle to this distance it is 21 unit. Okay, dimension it to 21 unit. Now again select the circle and select this vertical line and dimension it to 21 unit. Okay. Now this time from this circle to this circle the distance is 50 unit. So set the distance to 50 unit. After that, select this circle and select this horizontal line and the distance is 21 unit. Now select the, uh, okay, now press OK, now select the center line, okay, select the center line and draw a center line like here. Okay, after this center line has been drawn, select the mirror entities, I am clearing this portion. Entities to be mirror, I want to mirror this two circle and mirror about this center line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and extrude boss we can see we have a extrude boss of 14 unit okay so dimension it to 14 unit 14 unit now press ok so it has been properly properly drawn now in our case we can see we have a circular profile and this circular profile has a dimension of 55 unit and we have another inner extrusion cycle and this inner extrusion cycle has a dimension of 30 unit and from this surface and from to this center line the distance is 58 unit then we can see we have another vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 22 unit then we have two tangent line okay after that we can see uh, it has a extra boss of this portion has a extra boss of 15 unit so after doing this 15 unit extra post extra boss portion then i will use this 45 unit extra boss so how how will we gonna do that so first of all i then then i will draw another in a uh, another circle of 55 unit then i will draw another circle of convert entities of 30 unit then i'll extra boss into 45 unit then we'll then i will get this portion after that we can see we have a rib here and for the rib i will draw a cent i will draw a line here in the right plane then i will dimension it to 41 unit then i'll extrude boss it to and then i'll rib it to 15 unit then i will we can see we have another rib here and then we will mirror this rib to here by using mirror entities okay let me demonstrate so i'm in the first of all i'm selecting the front plane now I sketch now normal tweet now zoom out now place it to here now select a circle and place the circle to the center and this circle has a dimension of 50 55 diameter okay now select this my dimension tool and this circle has a has a distance of 58 unit okay after that select a line and select line tool okay and place the line to this corner and draw a vertical line of 22 unit okay vertical line of 22 unit after that draw a tangent line okay drawing a tangent line 
Uh, let me zoom it here. Okay. Let's see, what is the um, the tangent symbol is not showing, so I will gonna manually tangent it. Okay. So I'm selecting this line and this cycle and make them tangent. So now the center has been moved. So we need to fix this center to this center line. Okay. The distance is zero unit. Okay, zero unit. Okay, now it is okay. So now press okay. Now select a center line. So this center line has been drawn. Now select the mirror entities and entities to be mirror this line and this line and mirror about this line now press ok now select uh, you can draw tangent line uh, directly but uh, my uh, my software wasn't showing this tangent symbol that's why i'm doing it manually okay now select the trim entities and trim this extra portion that we don't need okay and also trim this portion now press ok now select this line now use the convert into this so it is a, has been a closed shape now select a circle and place the circle here and we have an inner extra circle of 30 diameter now press ok so it is it is showing over dimension so i am going to delete another relationship here okay now i submit take it for a better view now go to features and now stood boss now it should boss it to 15 unit and from the mid plane okay now press ok now this portion has been done now again select the front plane now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle to the previous center and the draw a circle of 55 diameter now press ok you can draw another circle manually or you can select this inner circle and convert into this now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now stood boss as the total dimension is 45 unit okay and mirror it from the mid plane now press ok now it's time for doing the rip features okay uh, for doing the rip features here uh, i am going to select the right plane here now sketch now normal to it now select a line tool here and place the line here to this point okay and now select this my dimension and this point to this vertical line it has a distance of 41 unit okay now i submit ticket for a better view now press ok now go to features now use the rip option and rip it to 15 unit okay ripping it to 15 unit now press ok so this portion has been ripped properly now we need to do uh, this rip into this here so i am going to use the mirror entities so i am selecting the front plane as a mirror plane it will now select mirror so the front plane will be selected automatically as the mirror plane the mirror face then i from the tree features to mirror i want to mirror the rib one features now press ok so this portion has been done properly now i submit ticket for a better view now in here in our sketch you can see some fillet here here and other corner and this fillet has a dimension of radius 10 okay so it's time for doing the fillets and now go to fillet option now i'll fillet it to 10 unit now select this line this line and this line and rotate your sketch and select this line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view okay so as you can see we have drawn our 3 d case thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different